The most successful real estate investors have one thing in common. They've learned how to take advantage of other people's money to find and close deals. New real estate investors or those who are financially strapped can utilize this strategy to get their foot in the real estate door without having any financial resources or credit to do so. Seasoned investors, on the other hand, have found that using other people's money liquidates their available funds and frees up their cash to invest even more. If a lack of funds is keeping you from achieving your real estate investing dreams, don't let it. The fact of the matter is, you don't need endless cash reserves of your own to acquire a deal. You just need to have the right people by your side. So without further ado, here are the seven different ways to invest in real estate using other people's cash. One of the most popular ways to acquire cash for a real estate deal is through the help of hard money lenders. This type of loan is not given by banks, but rather individuals and businesses who will finance investments for a return. Hard money lenders charge fees in the form of points, which represent an upfront percentage cost based on the borrowed amount. Keep in mind, these points are in addition to the interest rates that hard money lenders charge, which typically range between 10 and 18%. Similarly to hard money lenders, real estate investors can also take advantage of private money lenders. A private money lender can be anyone from your parent, to your friend, to your mentor, to your coworker. Essentially anyone willing to loan you money. The greatest benefit of using private money is that investors get to create their own terms for the loan, while interest rates on private money are typically higher than those on traditional loans. The qualification process is more lenient and the speed of the transaction is faster. Wholesaling is another great way to start investing in real estate as it requires neither a high credit score or large sums of money down. Real estate wholesaling consists of finding a discounted property, putting it under contract, assigning the contract to a potential buyer, and charging that new buyer a fee, usually around 5 to 10% of the sale. Forming a partnership can also help individuals lacking capital invest in real estate. How? What other investors lack, the other can make up for. Most real estate partnerships rely on one partner finding a distressed property at a discounted price, while the other one uses their credit score and working capital to finance it. Just be sure that every partner brings something unique and valuable to the table. If you're a veteran investor and already own a property, using home equity is a way to invest more real estate without having to use your liquid capital. There are two ways to take advantage of this strategy. One is to rewrite your first mortgage using a cash out refinance. The other is to keep the first loan in place, add a home equity line of credit, and use that money to buy a new investment property. An option to buy, also known as a lease option, allows investors to acquire properties without initially taking legal ownership. The investor will sign a legal option to buy from the homeowner for a specific price in the future and, in return, the investor rents the property out on a long-term basis until he or she purchases the property at a later date for the previously determined price. Last, but certainly not least, investors can take advantage of seller financing to acquire a deal using someone else's money. Seller financing works like this. The investor purchases the property from the seller rather than the bank, and the two sides sign an agreement that identifies an interest rate, a repayment schedule, and the consequences of default. Who knew there were so many ways to invest in real estate using other people's money? Just because you have a less than impressive credit score or lack of liquid capital doesn't mean that you can't set yourself up for future financial freedom using real estate. If you want to invest in real estate using little to none of your own capital, you just need an extensive and trustworthy network. The trick is knowing who can help you and how to use them to your advantage. Now that you know how to turn your investing dreams into realities, respond in the comments below with which strategy you will pursue first. And if you enjoyed learning today, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.